Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today CGH3 and I are going to show you how to do a crown twist. So lots of you guys remember our crown braid, we've had such good feedback from it. So I'm going to show you a variation today using a rope twist which is great. Now just a preface really quick, it's like pouring torrential rain here right now. So if you're thunder or lightning or crazy rain on the roof, I'm really sorry but it's just the way it goes in Texas. So tip your head a little bit to the side. We're gonna start by picking up a section of hair right here by her ears, her one ear. I'm gonna take a section. And then I'm gonna divide that section into half, so two pieces. Now I've decided to use a rope braid because I think it stays in just a little bit better. Okay, now to do a rope twist, you're gonna twist both pieces to the right and then cross them over each other to the left. Then you're gonna add hair in to that piece. Give it a twist to the right and cross it over to the left. Add hair in to the front piece, give it a slight twist to the right, cross it over to the left. And you're just gonna continue this as you go along. Try to make sure you get all the baby hairs in. So twist to the right, cross to the left. Now you'll notice that I don't have a very structured part line right here. It's okay, not a problem. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We're just gonna keep adding hair into that front piece. I'm gonna add a little more in right there. Give it a twist to the right, cross it over to the left. Add it in, twist to the right, cross over to the left. You can tip your head up a little now. And just continue along. Twist the hair to the right, twist over. Now you can see that we're about an inch back from the part line. We're gonna try to keep it pretty close to her ear. We don't want it, you know, cutting halfway through her head. So we're gonna try to keep it right down the top of her ear. Twisty twist to the right, cross the left. Again, I'm gonna try to hug pretty close to the ear on this one side just so that it gives a really nice, pretty halo effect when we're all done. Continuing to do this. I'm gonna just finger comb through her hair back here so that I make sure it's laying where I want it. Okay, continue. Pick up some more hair. Twist it to the right. It's seriously pouring like crazy outside right now. Cats and dogs are hitting my roof. And there's the thunder. Hey, keep going. Twist it. Twist it to the right. Now as you get along to this side, the trick here is to make sure that you're just keeping it really tight against the head. You're gonna have to maybe just, you know, make sure that it's really snug up against their head. You don't wanna pull their hair and hurt them. But just make sure that when you do this, especially this last twist that I'm just about to do, you need it to lay really tight against their head or it's gonna poke up and just look funny when you're done. So just give it a really good little snug twist and then go ahead and twist it. And then I'm just gonna continue to rope twist and now I'm not adding in hair at all. So I'm just twisting the two pieces together. You can see I'm still twisting it to the right before I cross it over to the left, all the way down. And in a minute, you'll see little pieces of her hair start popping out from where the ends of her hair are. It's okay, we're gonna hide all of it. So just go down as far as you can. Add an elastic in the end. And then we're gonna take this. We're gonna take it up right behind her first twist. And we're gonna take this end and just tuck, lift it and just tuck it under. Pretty easy. Just give it a little tuck. If you need to, even, you can add a little bobby pin. Hers seriously would just stay in by itself. 
But if you need to, feel free to add bobby pin. Then I'm going to go and just loosen up this front part a little because I want it to look like they're mushing together all to form one twist instead of looking like two separate. You can pull this up and over the top. I don't love the way it looks as much. So I'd rather just kind of loosen this a bit and make it just sort of blend together. I am going to do one bobby pin right there. Oop, not there. There we go. And if you don't love the way it looks right here, you can go and loosen this side just a little bit so that it evens it out. Cause obviously the hair is going to be thicker on this side than this side. This is like a visual trick of the eye. Just pull this out. It makes this side look a little fluffier and a little more full. Anything you don't love, you can just fix you right up with a bobby pin. I'm going to make this one lay a little bit flatter against her head right there. And let me see. It looks fantabulous, darling. Are you ready for the final spin? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's like you're wearing a wreath of twists. <laughs> looks great. Many of you guys know that I have been busy filming some other episodes called The Mom Minute. It's over on The Mom's View, and it's all these great little five minute, three minute segments about parenting and kids. It's been really fun. So you guys should definitely check it out. I will put a link right here so you can find it. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Now, I hope that when my kids are at school, they're enjoying their education, doing what they're supposed to be doing, and studying hard. But I know my kids well enough to know that's not always going to be the case. Hi, Brooklyn. Watch her reaction. Hi, Brooklyn. I'm going to turn the vacuum on.